Hi everybody and welcome to video number 15 of the AdWords Editor video training course brought to you by ppccampaigngenerator.com. In this video I want to talk about the most powerful feature which is advanced search within AdWords Editor. Advanced search is a way to query your database within AdWords Editor to try and figure out certain parameters that contain or do not contain certain values. So for example, the things you need to know, this radio button here, you don't even need to bother with it. I always keep this one checked. This is really useless because you can do campaign or ad group variable right here. You can say campaign name or ad group name contains blah blah blah. So there's really no use in this. And then this is only pertaining to the campaign status. So if you want to see all campaign statuses that are active, that contain whatever, you know, I, I really don't find any use in this, so I'm not going to go into it. I always keep current selected campaigns or ad groups checked. But here, we can do a search on the campaign name, the ad group name, the keyword name, keyword count, headline, line one, line two, display or destination URL. Those are the primary values that I key off of. So in this example, we have a list of 15,420 keywords. We can say, look for any keyword that contains, we'll just say cat, and then we can say add. So this is going to say, look for the string cat and look for the string scratching. So the reason I said string is because this is a string. So if we want to look for the full word, we can say look for the full word cat and the full word scratching. So let's see how many results we get when we just use contains. Let's hit search and we get 657. Now let's do contains full word, contains full word we get 528. So all these keywords contain the full word cat and scratching. Another way you can think about this is let's say we wanted to look for the word cat or scratching. We could do that. So anything you add into this one single text area is going to be an or statement. So we're going to look for cat, the full word cat, or the full word scratching. And we can see there's 9,018 keywords. The nice thing is, you can get really creative here. You can say, look for the full word cat and scratching. And then you can do an and statement. And then just say, post or posts. So these are all the keywords that contain cat or scratching and either post or posts. So you can see how advanced search can really query your keyword database. This is why I like to add all my keywords into one group and then I can use advanced search to query the database using these simple little searches here and I can find whatever I want. So that's just one use. There's so many uses. You can look for anywhere the destination URL contains, you know, um, you know, whatever the URL might be. We don't have any destination URLs in there. You can also use this for ads, anywhere that the ad contains a certain value or a full word. You can even do matches exactly. That means, let's, let's just see here for a minute. We'll say cat post, cat scratching, post. We're going to say matches exactly and we can see we do have those keywords in this list of 15,420. And then we can say does not contain. We'll just say cat. So this is not full word but this is a string now. So it's looking for anywhere that it does not contain the string cat and it looks like 5,568. 
So advanced search is extremely powerful, especially when you combine it with multiple criteria here. A nice thing also with an advanced search is you can look for different match types. For example, let's say we change this match type to exact. That's the only exact keyword in this entire list. Now let's say, let's look for any keyword that is exact match type. Hit search, and we can see just that one keyword with that one exact match type that we changed. Then we can do, let me just show you here, this is three QT dog bowls. Let's just say, look for broader phrase match, but not exact match. And let's look, do a search here, and we can see this keyword doesn't show up because that's exact match. So this is really powerful as well. You can also search for enabled keywords. Think of this as active keywords. A really nice feature and a really useful feature is this paused feature. We can ignore paused keywords or ads. So anytime you just want to see the active keywords or active ads, uncheck this paused checkbox and you will only see active information. Except for the ad group, you will still see paused ad groups. And then down here, we can look for statistical information when we download statistics. So I think I'm going to do a net, another video for that because that's a really powerful feature that requires more time to take a look at. So that'll be the next video. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.